Well, Bethel Church is at it again with another prophetic conference. And oh, well, this is the inaugural one, though, because you see, for good old Prophet Chris, this is just another way for him to deceive more people. Yeah, I'm talking about the same Prophet Chris here, Valentin, who uh, was siding with Mike Bickle and calling him his friend. All of that. You remember that, that whole statement he put out a couple of months back. Yeah, that didn't do him any favors. But what is he doing now? Just going right back to it again, right? Let's just keep fleecing the flock. So we're going to talk about this prophetic conference and the cost to attend it. Uh, just say this really quick before we dive into it. Please don't go to this. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith. Not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. If you enjoy what I do here, there's a couple different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video. Or join the Patreon. Make a monthly contribution for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by site news. Link is in the description. When you join Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. With that, as well, some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, some that I include on Patreon. You know, we got to be kind of careful with YT. But hey, comment censorship free on all videos. Send me DMs. Check it out. Patreon.com slash not by site news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing. And those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Bethel Church, you have to understand, they have put in now, this is, they have a, a new campus that's coming soon that they've started work on already that's going to cost them $96 million, okay? And accompanying that is another prophetic apostolic training center. So, Bethel's got to keep that money coming. All right, now that, look, we know already they, they do ridiculous things like charge people for personal prophecies, right? And all the other so called training courses uh, that they have there, dream interpretation, all of that. Right? It's all going to cost you money because these are people that you can absolutely trust, right? These are prophets, these are apostles. No, they're not. No, they're not. Bethel Church is just as bad as IHOP KC and all of those other NAR ministries out there. Today, now we currently see IHOP KC crumbling, but I don't think Bethel will be far behind, okay? Because the time for these ministries deceiving people is coming to an end. I'm telling you, God is done with it. And I reference uh, Chris Valentin here at the top, you know, about the fact that recently he was talking about how Mike Bickle is my friend, just a, a completely tone deaf statement that he put out, you know, really not, you know, showing any genuine concern for the victims. Of course, he later came out and apologized, but that wasn't really an apology. He only did it because of all of the backlash that he was receiving. Now, you would think that Chris would maybe sit down for a little while after that, right? You know, maybe actually repent, you know, something like that. But no, he's, he's not going to do that. No, he's right back to it. In fact, this Regis Summit Prophetic Conference that Bethel Church is putting on, it's coming up at the end of May. This is going to be a two-day event that focuses, it could be held at the Sheraton Hotel, it's going to focus on knowing more of God, changing your reality, redefining your reality as a matter of fact, and that's a particular course that Chris is going to be teaching here at the conference, uh, teaching you about, you know, stronger commitments with the body of Christ and personal growth how to, you know, define the prophetic, just, and I have, I have a whole link on this promo. I'll, I'll put the link for you here in the description of this video. And in order to attend, now this is including, you know, two nights at the Sheridan Hotel. Uh, they're going to cover five meals. All of that, $6,000 per person to attend this sham of a so-called prophetic conference that will feature other Bethel executives Again, all, all the names will be in the in the description here in the link. A Q&A session with Chris. It just As I looked at this, I'm just saying to myself, who in their right mind would actually go to something like this? But then I realized there are still countless people out there who are deceived by Bethel Church and their practices. I mean, I will continue to call it out, just as I know many others will too. 
But look, they will never, I mean, never miss an opportunity to grab as much money from these people as they possibly can and try to link it with personal prophecy and, you know, discovering more of God, right? Redefining your reality. You want a reality? I'll give you, here's the reality. How about you repent and actually follow scripture for a change? But no, Bethel won't do that. And remember, this is also the same Bethel church that very recently still had Bob Hartley, you know, roaming around the campus there, talking to women and talking to kids and doing all these things, knowing all of the allegations that are against him. Of course, that's Mike Bickle's buddy. They just recently put out a letter to everybody in the church saying that he's now banned from the campus altogether. And that's only thanks to Jedediah Hartley, Bob Hartley's son, who has been just doing a tremendous job of exposing his father, is not only a false prophet, but also a criminal who should be behind bars. But just remember, these were concerns that were brought forth to Bethel Church for a, you know, a while now, and they chose to do nothing about it. In fact, Bill Johnson was getting real chummy there with Bob Hartley, even saving him a seat at one of their other prophetic conferences they had recently. And so this so-called ministry just continues to do what they always do. It's just another day at the office for them, right? It's all about the business for them. These aren't people that are going to give you prophecy. They have no discernment. These are wolves. $6,000 per person to attend this sham of a conference. Again, I, I hope you don't attend. This is why I'm talking about it. I'm trying to alert people of what's going on out there and, and what this so-called church is trying to do. Uh, it is absolutely just disgusting. And look, I, I guess we'd expect nothing less from Bethel Church at this point. You would hope that they would repent, but look, for these church organizations that are choosing not to do that, look, they go before God one day and they have to give an account of their life. But again, I'll have more information here in the description. You can let me know your thoughts on this. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church and exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Christ as Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're someone that has not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget, the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews or hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution. That way, it's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.